you have a neat unique position of working with and supporting police in your work as chaplain. Can you tell me, can you tell all of us this morning where you have seen a cup of cold water given to one of these little ones, as Jesus describes it in today's text, in, in your observation of preaching, of policing, excuse me. Yes. Well, Tim, back in March, at the beginning of the COVID-19 impact, a uh, caring citizen of West Lynn, a approached a police officer with a handful of gift cards. These cards were from local restaurants, but he wanted the officer to hand them out to citizens in the community who were being stressed by the impact of shutdown orders and loss of employment. Uh, and the intent there was to have the officers giving out as it were, a cup of cold water. And so on a certain day, one of the officers contacted me and said, Chaplain Cross, I was with a family yesterday afternoon and I shared one of those cards, but as I drove away, uh, I just felt like it wasn't enough. And so he said, Chaplain, could you step in and uh, provide something additional? Uh, and he is aware that uh, I have access to uh, some funds that have been given by generous people in the community. And so the following day, I returned to a home. Uh, out in the yard is a single mother. Surrounding her three young children, a fourth child, a teenager in the house. Uh, the mother looks warily at me. Uh, and then I say to her, uh, I've come here at the request of the officer you met yesterday, and I've come to share something additional with you. Uh, and Pastor Tim, it wasn't a magnificent gift. Uh, it was two additional cards, one for a local grocery store and another that could be spent in any fashion that met the family's needs but they all fall in the category of a cup of cold water. It didn't change her life in the sense of providing all her needs, but it did give her that sense of welcoming, that sense of acceptance, that sense of caring understanding. And I wish I could post right now the picture of that dear woman surrounded by her children waving at me as I drove away back down the street that morning. Uh, Tim, for me, that's what giving a cup of cold water looks like today in our community. I had that opportunity multiple times, including with families of color. And so I want you to know what a privilege it is to just discover that being like Jesus just means doing the next right thing. And I appreciate that because I, I think that's what I've seen in the gifts that you bring and in the people that I've interacted with in the Westland uh, Police Department. I mean, they have a heart, um, especially, I mean, my contact has been through the rest stop um, and, and, and connecting with those people that are there and they um, are extremely appreciative of what we are providing for them. And, and I recognize this is a challenging time for people. Um, and it's, it's difficult. And the reason why I've asked you to come on and, and to talk about this story is, is in, in the middle of discussions about uh, police reform and Black Lives Matter, um, which we can all agree um, is important. It's an important part of the conversation. But what's also important is, is that there are police doing wonderful things that are helping people. Pastor Donna talked about how you, you showed mercy and provided a cup of cold water during the time of Kathy Mrombe's suicide a couple of years ago. I want you to know how much we all appreciated just how well you lived the calling of police in that moment and others around you to protect and serve. That is emblematic of providing that cup of cold water. Thank you for that, and I appreciate that. Thank you.
I would like to say, Pastor Tim, if I could, that uh, a number of years ago, I had the privilege of sitting under the teaching of a Canadian uh, black pastor. Uh, for a whole day, he taught me a lesson that summed up in a short series of words, which he impressed upon me over and over that day. And those words are, just do the next right thing. Each of us are capable of that. And each of us have a heart motivation that can lead us to that. Uh, and so that's my encouragement to you and to those you serve today, that let us all just agree that we're capable of that. 